The Ceylon Police Sports Committee has officially inaugurated the Ceylon Police Swimmy Clubhouse initiative aimed to enhance team participation for the upcoming season and motivate players as they face upcoming challenges. Matilda Dorisello expressed that the female athletes have been facing accommodation difficulties. Because this is a team, yeah. uh, I don't say yeah. during the race. I mean, most activities are not even on, obviously because of the rain. So if you don't see, but contribute, they always they call me. I say, Mr. If I this day, up and down, up and down. But I believe, say, as the rain on sees, we'll pick up back from the south in on day. But I'm so happy because really, uh, Martin, I want to say thank you. Martin, a young man, but honestly, he don't play a great role to the young police. We get a lot of stories where they go cry to them. They always ready for stand there for him. So I want to say thank you. Let God bless you and continue for elevate you. In this building where we get, it actually will see a lot of problems. The commissioner said one time and even tell IG about the constraints where the woman and they go through. But they're not able to get their own privacy for themselves. Because I didn't they all tell they ask them to go out. So we happy. Or we did not come, Mr. Kamara. I want to say thank you because the management not be actually strong, not before each year. But I only hope Martin before involve me because if you involve me, certain before pass, so I don't see myself will come with one freezer for them. Uh, I will come with the dining table. Yes, let them able to get their own comfort for sit down at the dining and eat. So myself will bring them the car. With time, we will see what and what next we need. By God, the young kids may support the local inside. So, I already hope, say, please, Lord, we hold this facility very well. It's small, but at the same time, it's not small. Because as long as you get outside, you lay here this hour and this country, it's very secure. So, we are hold and fine. As ladies, we are going to on a maintainer. Uh, business, I ASP Martin Jusu Samba provided a brief background on the project and assured Madam Matilda Dorisello of the committee's commitment to safeguarding the interests of female football players as well as athletes from other disciplines under the Ceylon Police in allegement with IG William Fayasello agenda to promote sports. The past two years, uh, our female team, especially the sports units, have gone through constraints in terms of uh, uh, clubhouse, especially for residential players and players that are coming from other angles to come and support the, SL the SLP, especially the sports unit. So because of these constraints, and we as executive members of the CLO sports unit, we have thought it that we should build a clubhouse for them so that whenever a player comes in, they will reside in this place and make sure they support this club. Well, the sustainability of the clubhouse is that uh, as long as the executive is concerned, effective and proactive, we are going to work towards that one and make sure we put the monitoring about it so that it will be sustainable for the SLP, not only for them that are there, but also for the SLP as well. The event concluded with the introduction of 10 new contract players, including five foreign athletes, followed by a ceremonial ribbon cutting to officially mark the opening of the clubhouse. For Incisive TV News, I am Samuel E.J. Pias, reporting in Freetown.